All right, we are at Daisy Park. There's really no parking here, um, but I don't see any signs where it says you can't park. Good morning. Hi. And we are going to try to find the Kelpius Cave in Wissahickon Park. Alright, so there's a trail system along the baseball field here. And I would go down this way, Bob. I have no idea what he's doing. So this is one of the things that's been on my agenda for, like, ever. Yeah, we could have taken that trail. So the Wandering Woodsman was here before. And he gave out a lot of good information. I'll link his video in the description below. Maybe. But there's a Atlas Obscura article online that um, gives the directions and the coordinates of the cave. Now, Wissahickon Valley Park is a huge park. And there's a lot of history in this park. And there's like a variety of trails from dirt trails like the ones we're walking on now to even paved trails. And one of the paved trails, Forbidden Drive, has a lot of history in itself. It actually used to be a turnpike until they shut it down. Hence, why it's named Forbidden Drive. It's always exciting trying to find stuff not knowing exactly where it is, but the coordinates tell me otherwise. And we are very close. So there's another trail that leads to it. This is the trail we're coming off of. We found it. Huh? We found it. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, Bob. All right, it's up here. It's cool.
I'm gonna lean. Can you get my light? Still got one of the hinge pieces. Yeah, it looks like there's a door here. Bob just mentioned. And here, actually, can you hold the backpack? I go in there. Thank you. Kind of reminds me of a prison cell from Eastern State Penitentiary. And there's a cave cricket. Oh, there's a bunch of cave crickets. Oh my god, they're all over. Oh, okay. They're starting. Oh my god. Okay. What? There's cave crickets. So can you go in there and get it? Please? What am I getting? Just shots? <laughs> <laughs> they react to light, so... <laughs> there's a whole bunch of them above the door. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like cave crickets. Yep, they're falling. This looks more like a storage room than a cave. Actually, some people think that it's, it was more of a spring house than an actual cave. Well, thank you very much. So I think I got enough footage from inside there. It's not very big. Yeah, there's cave records. Where are they? There's like a whole bunch of them. You see if you zoom in. And there's a whole bunch more above the doorway here. Cave crickets. Look at them. They're huge. All right, so this was lined with stone. And it looks like there's been <clears throat> fires in here. I don't know if people are building fires or whatnot. There's one on the ground there. I'm just... All right, I'm not going any further, I think. Bob, can you check my head to see if there's a cave cricket, please? I'm like freaking out. Nope, no bugs. No. <sighs> Thanks, Bob. So if you're not afraid of cave crickets, like I am, this is actually a pr pretty cool place to check out. Um, has a lot of history, also has some conflicting history. And, uh, yeah. I'm afraid of most bugs. I should say that I have a healthy respect for a lot of bugs, but when it comes to cave crickets, it, it's a healthy respect. A healthy respect, yes. I call it fear. <laughs> no, not fear. I don't have an issue with praying mantises, right? Uh, no, but spiders, cave crickets, uh, all kinds of other crap. I'm okay with spiders as long as they're not huge. On you. Oh. We're near you. 
There was one time where uh, we had gotten into a car, our car, and to get to our car, you have to walk underneath the dogwood tree, our dogwood tree. And we all got in a car, and next thing I know, Allie yells, Daddy, there's a spider on you. I looked at Bob, and there was this huge spider on his shoulder. My first reaction was to get out of the car as fast as possible, but the issue with that is my legs decided not to work. So when I opened up the door, I fell out of the car. Oh, it was parked, of course. It was still parked. We didn't start moving until after the incident. So I'm laying out in the street <laughs> trying to compose myself. I finally get up and, uh, yeah, they, they took care of the spider. So, it's a pretty cool place to check out. And as the article stated, the, um, there was about 40 monks that lived in this area. And uh, they used this part as a shelter for meditations and peace with nature. I respect that. We're gonna head back to the uh, car now, and uh, that'll conclude this explore. Robin. So, gonna head back. Upload the pictures, upload the video. And please subscribe, share, and like this video super appreciated and once you subscribe click the notification bell this way you're notified whenever I upload new videos oh you're right behind me this time yes. not 10 miles behind thank you all for watching see you later bye